Welcome to this session on placing mechanical equipment in the building model. We'll start by setting the floor selector to the station ground floor. Then create a display set of the station building without the platform canopy or roof geometry. Now be sure to include the space shapes in that selection set because they will be used to help place the mechanical and plumbing elements. Next, we will zoom into the storage room on the right side of the building. This is actually going to be our equipment room. Now make sure the display styles for all views is set to modeling mechanical. Then we'll change the workflow to building systems design. Then select the Equipment tool from the Mechanical Systems group on the Mechanical tab of the ribbon. In the Place Component dialog box, select the catalog item, Equipment, CC Unit, Type O. Find the End Spec 2 tab and set the width and depth for the first connection to 13 inches by 30 inches or 375 millimeters by 750 millimeters. And then set the second connection to 30 inches by 20 inches or 750 millimeters by 550 millimeters. Those are the connections for the ductwork on this particular unit. So these are parametric. We can sort of change these parameters on the fly. The rest of the closed control unit parameters can be left to the default values. However, if desired, you can change the coil placement view to two left, and this will actually change the location of the coil. Note that the box height is 70 inches, or 1750 millimeters. Now the placement point is at the midpoint of the unit, so you will set a base offset that is half this height so that we're placing it on the floor. But first, in the building primary toolbar, ensure that the family in part is set to HVAC equipment, HVAC new. Now, on the placement ribbon, set the base offset to 2 feet 11 inches or 875 millimeters and toggle off all other placement settings. In view 2, select a data point inside the storage room and select a second data point to define the orientation. Then reset or right click to end the placement command. Now you can select the move tool and move the unit so that it sits in the corner of the room with the return air grill facing outwards. In the next exercise, you will place the ceiling diffusers that will eventually be connected to this unit. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.